Keeping money in the classroom and out of the courtroom. That's what Kern High School District is trying to do. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Platt explains why the district could get sued and what they're doing to avoid that. Jeff? Well, Dave Rochelle, the Dolores Huerta Foundation is threatening to sue the district because she feels the voting districting map isn't fair even though it does have two Latino majority districts. The current um, city of Lamont, Oildale, and Rosedale are all split up among the current district boundaries, so we hope that you guys take that into consideration to keep them together. KHSD voting district lines are examined and redrawn every 10 years, but they're getting a head start in looking to redraw three years early to avoid a lawsuit. The lawsuit is at the hands of the Dolores Huerta Foundation. It claims the current district minimizes the ability of Latino voters to be represented. This despite the fact that Latinos are the majority in two of the five voting districts. Trustees say the voting areas include everyone and keep school attendance areas together. Huerta argues not everyone is represented because the trustees don't live close to every school. Three of the trustees live within three miles of each other. Uh, you've got one district, Williams' district, that looks like a rainbow. By car, it's maybe 15 minutes. So I think a trustee can understand the needs and wants of someone 15 minutes to the east and 15 minutes to the west. Trustees voted to move the redistricting process along and hope to submit something to the county for approval as soon as this May. Huerta told me if the map they submit isn't to her liking, the lawsuit will be filed. Now, all the trustees tell me they are redrawing the map specifically to avoid going to court and spending money on a legal suit rather than on education. Trustee Jeff Flores tells me that he does believe that as they are right now, the district maps are perfectly legal. Live in studio tonight, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News.